my son come up on the radio, baby, jam me see. Good morning, Tishi. How did you get in here? Front door was wide open. It was? Mm-hmm. You know school today? School? Today is a Saturday, Auntie. It is? <sighs> Auntie Shay, are you okay? Do you think I'm a bad person? Nope. Maybe weird, but not bad. My mom thinks you're crazy, though. Me, mm, yeah, I am. Auntie she? Are you okay? Don't watch that when you're done. Just put it in the sink. Oh, you do this all the time. You see, lately it's been crazy. Need to know you all alright, baby. Oh, I miss you. Oh, I miss you. Feel it deep inside me. Oh, if you give me chop of my jet on. No. Yes, I no. What's this? Oh, it's my bucket list. Bucket. <laughs> Aren't you too young for a bucket list? I'll, I'll just no, get no, my... Okay. Please, can you just help me give this to her? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mom. Yes. That should go in your pocket. Now. Okay. Dr. Hello, Sheila. How do you feel? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Hello? Um, would you be available this evening? Yes, I will be from 4 p.m. Yes, I would like to come in to discuss my treatment. Oh, great. Yes. So I should expect you by 4 p.m.? Of course. I'm glad you're considering it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank Take you very much. Easy. I'll see you then. Bye. Hey, Clem? Now, Juma, what's your happen? Clem, it will be serious. What's your happen? Uh, I want to ask you a question. Please. What's it be that one again? What, which question you want to ask? Uh, uh, to, this motorway, Clem, and they drive Madame Chila every day. Kuma, why did Madame Chila go tire for the motor come dash you? Come, where yeah. are you? Dan Juma, I've been a Juju Ma, be your name. How about my name? Now, which can you hear your question be that one? How about a simple question, you know, eh? complex? That one a simple question? Yeah. Okay. I go use simple answer to range that your simple question now. Oh. Eh? <laughs> yeah. One day now, yeah. Madam Sheila go come come. Yeah. He go say she no like this house again. Uh -huh. She she go come carry the house, say, make Danjuma come they stay and come begin pay rent for Danjuma. Oh. Madam Sheila. You see your life now. Madam Sheila, we do that kind of one for Danjuma now. So, so why you can't believe, say, yeah. Madam Sheila go do one for Clement? She I resemble Madam Brother. How about Clement? You want Madam Sheila, I didn't relate past Danjuma and Madam Sheila now. Where Clement? How about Madam Sheila Hanu? 
Tell it well, like. Well, well, that one. <laughs> now, so I see that one. Madam, she like come. Madam, I come. Madam, no verse. I go soon finish. The, the, the phone days I come, madam. Sorry, ma. No verse. I go soon finish. Hey, madam. Take. Now, the money where you've been asked for last month, maybe won't use buy things for your people. Okay. Madam, now good day. Hey, madam. Now good day. I love Bandika as well, madam. Okay. Ah, now good day, madam. Now good day. Clement. Take. It's for you, your wife, and your child. Thank you, madam. You're welcome. Anyway, hurry up. We need to go out. Oh, okay, ma'am. Let's go. Ah! Okay. Okay, Clem. Be far away to have you. What don't give us? I don't give us money. Hey, you don't look good, ma. Hey, you don't. Sheila, what's say no, no nothing, problem? Nothing, nothing. It's, it's fine. Disappointed if indeed this was heaven. Okay, so where am I? Where is this place? Are you God? <laughs> am I God? <laughs> no, I'm not God. So who are you, please? I'm a gatekeeper. And this is my office. Gateway to eternity. One amongst millions of other offices spread across the galaxy. And he is the bookkeeper. Keeps record of your life on Earth. And I grant access to either eternity in happiness or eternity in sorrow, depending on the verdict from the boss himself. The one you call God. This can't be happening. I, I, I can't be dead. I, I, I can't be dead. Sheila Bancoli, originally known as Adibisi, hmm? not Sorry to interrupt, but what are you doing? Are you judging me? Is he judging me already? Is there something you have to say? Of course I have something to say. Okay. Go ahead, we're all ears. There's an issue here we are all overlooking. Okay, and what issue is that? You, you do know I'm sick, right? Could you stop pacing? and stand still. I want you to stand here. Uh, no, here. So you were sick? Uh-huh. And you also knew that I had six months to live? Mm, we knew that too. So why am I dead? You were involved in a fatal accident. So that's why you're here. My point exactly. 
Why was I involved in a fatal accident when I was already going to die from cancer in six months? And your point exactly is. And that isn't it unfair that I died before my time? Your time? Yes. <laughs> Did anybody tell you a specific day and time you were supposed to transit to the afterlife? I was diagnosed with cancer. My doctor said I had six months to live. Oh, so this argument is based on what your doctor said? <laughs> I see your point. Wait, wait. What are you trying to say? Like, I mean, what the hell? What? What just happened? Uh, profanity is prohibited here. So stuff like that happens when you use bad language or you swear. And how the hell am I? Careful. <laughs> now listen, mister. And you too. What you're about to do here is injustice. I mean, how can you tell me I have six months to live and then kill me the next day? How can you take back what you just gave me? We didn't give you anything. You need to stop saying that. There was no six months for you anywhere. The thing is, whatever your doctors told you doesn't hold water here. You were supposed to die today. So, I don't know what you're talking about. Stop confusing yourself, please. Go on. As I was saying, you were not affiliated to any. Yes, my OATT. Oh, yes, I understand. Uh, she's even go. Uh, okay. As you have requested, my OATT. No wahala on this one. We... We will send you back. <laughs> but there are conditions. And you have tasks to carry out. Tasks? Conditions. If my death was a mistake, why don't you send me on my merry way and let me do my six months? Why are you giving me tasks? Look here, let me make something clear to you. You died today because it was your time. So the only reason my OATT wants to send you back is to perform some few tasks for him. And mind you, if you are successful, you get your six months. But if you are not, we'll be back here to continue from where we left off. So that's the deal, and it's final. You take it or you leave it. How many of these tasks do I have to complete? There are three of them. And what are they? We'll send somebody to brief you appropriately. And the person is who? Don't worry. You will know the person when it's time. And look, any attempt to tell anybody, any soul at all, about your experience in the afterlife will result in immediate termination of your life. I hope you understand that. Okay. Your guardian will find you, and then he will instruct you and communicate your tasks to you. Okay. And mind you, failure to complete even one of these tasks. How, how long do I have to complete these assignments? Seven days from the commencement of the first task. Seven days? Is that even enough? Look here, I want you to understand one thing. My OETT doesn't necessarily need you to perform any of these tasks for him. He had other plans. So him giving you these tasks it's just for you to have a shot at your six months. Mind you, don't feel we messed up here because we don't mess up. I understand. Okay, since you're sending me back, what will happen to all the injuries I sustained from the accident? Won't I look scary or something? Uh, don't worry about that. We'll fix you up just enough to take away any suspicion or attention towards you. Oh, okay, okay, that sounds good. Anything else? 
none I can think of for now. Okay. So you can be on your merry way. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, don't thank me. My OTC is the one you should be thankful to. It's not my call, it's his. Okay. Sorry. And your OATT, the one that called, he's your boss, right? Why do you call him that? What does he mean? OATT is short for Oga at the top. Good luck. What? I'm coming, let me go get the uh, driver. This person just did it die. Mm. Man, that Sheila just go like that. Hey, person, where you give me money? I talk her. I talk and say they don't find me from village, come Lagos. I talk her. Hey, God. Ah, I put this dish. Eh? Who they call this one? Hello? Hello, Clement. This is Dr. Ajiro. Oh. Doctor. Where are you? I just I just reach office now. I just pack. Okay. But Sheila is awake. Eh? You say what? Madam Sheila. She's awake. Madam Sheila? Don't wake up. Yes, it's a miracle. How how man? Have you told anyone she died? No, 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 no. I never tell anybody. I just I just drive into office now. I just want pack. May I go tell people for office waiting happen? No need anymore. Hey. She's fine. Thank God. She don't wake. Okay, I'll just I'll reverse. Are they come now? I'll just reverse. They come now. No need for that. Eh? Let her rest. You can come. Make I stay? Yes, you can come tomorrow. Okay, okay. Thank you. They say that everyone deserves a second chance. Some of us get lucky. Most of us don't. I should feel lucky to be back. But what's luck when all I have is time? Time that's not even mine. See him before. Now, for my village now here, and say this kind of thing they happen. No, for me to call to come see him, koro koro, ah, madam. I know. It's called a medical miracle. Eh? Medical, uh, madam. This one not be, be miracle anything. This one I confirm juju, confirm. I the young you, madam. This kind of thing not be normal, madam. Indeed. Clement. Madam. Can you do me a favor not to tell anyone about what happened? Don't what I want to anybody, not even your wife. Do you understand? Yes, madam. I, I, I understand.
I'm coming. Hi. I'm not here unannounced. I tried to call you, but it wasn't going through. As a matter of fact, it hasn't been going through for about two days now. Called your office, no one has seen or heard from you. Came by your house twice. Same thing. I was a bit worried. Actually, I was very worried. Anyway, um, I think I'll leave now. Clearly, you're fine. Um, I'll call you sometimes so that we can chat or probably come by your office if that is okay by you. Mm. Okay. All right then. <laughs>